Hey there, it's Kyle again. It is Thursday, February 8th, 2024, and it is about 9.30 at night. I am checking in for the day, for the daily vlog. Uh, did not go to the gym today like I said I would yesterday. Um, my feet are feeling somewhat better, um, but still the edges, especially on the big toes and the heels, are pretty sore tender to the touch um, but they are feeling better than they did yesterday so that's good and hopefully by the end of next week my work shoes will be broken in uh, but I will definitely go to the gym sometime before the end of next week I am not going to make any promises on to how many times or what days I'll go uh, but I did still get a bunch of steps in today um, if I can check I'm at about 6,500 steps for today so not quite to my 10,000 step goal but again I did not go to the gym and that's also five flights of stairs climbed uh, but yeah so for supper um, I'm gonna group it all together for supper even though it's spread out over about three and a half four hours uh, started off with a protein bar um, when I got off work because uh, I do not eat anything all from the moment I wake up until at least I get off work um, protein bar and then I had a handful of peanut butter M&Ms I had uh, what did I have I had some pita chips with uh, taco flavored chip, uh, taco flavored chicken dip, and I had two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, um, and that was at about four o'clock ish to about four thirty, and then dinner actually around seven. I had maybe a three ounce portion of pork steak um, one serving ish of ramen noodles and uh, three slices of homemade garlic bread with cheese uh, so cheesy garlic bread um, yeah we sous vide the pork steak uh, everybody else seemed to like the flavor a bunch I personally did not like the flavor too much on mine. Um, I don't know, don't know if it was just a piece I had or what, but that's okay. Everybody else seemed to enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, and then I also made my brother some sous vide chicken for his meal prepping. Um, so I will taste a little bit of that tomorrow. Uh, but sous vide chicken is definitely the way to go. Keeps it super juicy and moist. Um, and it's super easy to do, but uh, if you're interested, I can do a video on that later. But, yep, um, I do feel a little bit guilty about not going to the gym for two days in a row. And I think that is a step in the right direction. I am definitely not to a spot yet where I get excited to go to the gym or get excited to get on the treadmill or work out or anything like that but I am to a point where I feel obligated to go as much as possible and when I don't go um, it's because I'm making excuses not to go and I know that and that is a change uh, up until this week um, I did not feel that way at all. If I didn't go to the gym, that's okay. I didn't really care. Uh, now it makes me like second guess, like should I really be skipping the gym today? That sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, I, I do think that's a huge step in the right direction. I don't know what is causing that. I don't know if it's putting out these videos that are getting, you know, intermittent views here or there or if it's just going to the gym is making 
me get more used to going to the gym. It's probably a combination of both. Uh, but yeah, so again, I'm always looking for advice and feedback from you guys. Uh, again, these, <laughs> this video is not going to be seen by a million people. Uh, I'm averaging somewhere uh, between 15 to 30 views over the entire time my videos are posted right now. So, you know, in a month's time, it might see 30 people watch it and nobody's watching the entire thing anyways. So thank you if you're seeing all the way to here. Uh, but yeah, and that leads me to the next point. Lately, I've, I don't understand how it's working, but like some of my videos get what I consider a bunch of views, you know, 10, 11, 12 views in 24 hours and some get like three views and it's been 48 hours or 36 hours i don't understand why that is uh, i am not doing anything yet to like make a fancy algorithm title to entice people or anything like that i have made a couple videos where i've created thumbnails using like AI and stuff to make a thumbnail um, just because the thumbnail that was chosen by YouTube was not good and like if I'm saying it's not good it was really not good because um, <laughs> you could see the ones that I've left so I only do that on the ones where the thumbnail is like super bad uh, because I am not up to speed on how to do that yet I am watching uh, videos on how to do that but um, my goal is to start really working on that next month this month is more dedicated to learning how to talk to the camera and get getting more comfortable talking to the camera and getting this sort of pattern down and then I can work on improving other stuff as well um, Mr. Beast from YouTube one of the things he said is uh, expect none of your videos to get any views at all do a hundred videos and try to improve upon your previous video all the way through and then after a hundred videos is when you can start really doing a deep dive in and focusing on you know what is working for you and all that stuff um obviously paraphrasing significantly from what he said um but this is about a month and a week in so what we're at 35 38 ish videos in give or take because i did miss i think i've missed two days of uploading so far this year um that's okay uh so i'm roughly a third of the way to that 100 mark give or take um so we will see how i improve so right now the one thing i'm improving each day is trying to focus on getting better at speaking to you guys in the camera uh, i want to be able to better articulate what i'm trying to get out there and have a better end product that ways um, then i'll start i'll pick another topic for next month to improve then i'll pick another topic and depending on how long it takes to get to a point where I feel it's been a noticeable change is when I will move on to that topic. But enough rambling for tonight. Um, I'm gonna keep this relatively short and sweet. This is not meant to be a channel that has a half an hour video. Uh, so I don't even know how long this has been going because I'm looking at the back of my phone. So hopefully it's around four and a half, five minutes. But uh, you'll see it when you click on the video. If you are still watching here, again, thank you. And I will see you tomorrow. Again, I am expecting to not go to the gym tomorrow either. I am beyond my feet being sore. Um, again, for those of you who aren't aware or who haven't been watching every day, um, Monday was my first day back to work at a new job. Uh, so I've been off for two months leading up to that, which means I've gotten to sleep in. 
as late as I want, stay up as late as I want. Um, and it has completely destroyed what little sleep schedule I had before. Um, so I am struggling to get to bed before 11 o'clock at night. Um, most of the time I end up actually falling asleep somewhere around midnight, 1230. Um, and then because I'm super worried about not having or about my phone's alarm not going off i don't have an actual physical alarm clock i use my phone like most of you probably do for the alarm clock i haven't had to rely on that for two months um, and before that i was in such a routine that i would wake up just before the alarm anyways it was just my natural reaction to get up before i needed to get up uh, which was awesome now I need to get up about five or 5.30 is about the latest I can get up to be ready to go to work. Um, work is only about a 10 minute drive for me, but I'm one of those people who has to be in the parking lot at least 20 minutes before I'm supposed to start and into where I'm supposed to be at least 15 minutes early. Uh, so that, that way if anything happens, I have that buffer in there. I cannot stand being late. Um, so I leave my house at about six o'clock <clears throat> so I can get there a little bit before 615 um, for my 630 start time. So I like to get up around 5, 530 in the morning. And uh, lots of times this week I have woken up in a big panic thinking that I have slept way later than I should have. And I go to check my phone to see what time it is, thinking it's going to be like 8, 30, 9 o'clock in the morning to find out that it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. And then because I had that big panic all of a sudden that I was already late for work, uh, it takes a little bit to fall back asleep. So what was a five or five and a half hour um, sleep for the night, now is dropped back down to another half an hour less maybe an hour less depending on how things are going um, and yeah not fun um, and then the diet change as well not not necessarily like the food aspect of it but the trying to increase my water intake also means that i have been getting up at least once every night to go use the restroom also i'm sorry tmi i'm sure um but I'm sure that's healthier than being dehydrated. Uh, but that is also improving now at the beginning of the week. Um, and like last week, especially while I was still adjusting and force, sorry, while I was still adjusting and forcing myself to try to drink more water. And even, you know, I was drinking pop in there as well. Um, the, bathroom trips were way more frequent. Now I'm getting used to drinking a bunch of water and I'm still not drinking as much as I need to every day, but it's, it is getting better and I'm definitely hitting my goal more frequently. And on the days I'm not hitting my goal, I'm getting a lot closer. Um, I should be drinking uh, somewhere around 160 ish ounces of water a day. And I probably average about 120 now um so that for me is really good but yeah the restroom trip in the middle of the night and the random freak out about thinking you overslept um that eats into my already shortened sleep schedule because i can't force myself to go to bed early and so i will be focusing next week trying to break that trend as well and I need to find a new routine. I just need to suck it up and force myself into a new routine and repeat it enough that I get it shifted. So uh, that's what I'm working on. That can't be an excuse to not work out. Can't be an excuse to binge eat or anything like that. Um, but unfortunately, I'm going to be real. It probably will be my excuse. And honestly, knowing me, I would not be surprised if the rest of my videos this week show that I did not go to the gym on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Uh, but I will say right now, honestly, 
my intention is to go to the gym at least one more time before Monday. I want to hit three times at the gym instead of just the two times a week we've been averaging. Um, remember, last week we actually gained a pound. The week before that we lost two pounds. So um, this week I am definitely averaging a higher step count for the day and my diet has been better overall than the previous week's diet. Um, but I still wanna get at least one more day in so I can give myself that kick to do better weight loss wise than last week was. But uh, I'm struggling and yeah. So uh, that's one thing I won't ever lie to you. I'm not going to hide the fact or try to cover up that I didn't do this, that, or the other, um, because I want this to be something that if somebody is in the same boat as me, having these same struggles, uh, so that they can know that they aren't going through something alone. Um, lots of us are in that same position. It's not easy. If it was easy, uh, there wouldn't be any fat people. Um, but it's not, so there are. And uh, there are just times where you succumb to the temptation to be lazy, and that's fine as long as you recognize it, acknowledge it, and make a plan to change. When you give up entirely, I think that's when the problem starts. Unless you give up entirely, I think you are still making progress and moving in the right direction, even if the weight isn't showing that you are going the right direction. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's sappy stuff. Um, yeah, but I'm definitely, if you can tell, I'm definitely getting way more comfortable talking to you guys. So thank you for that. I am not normally a people, people person, but yep. But, uh, yeah, I need to figure out how to close this out. So until I learned that, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.